hello, hello, hey, hello, 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 hey, hello, 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 hey, hello, hello. Hi, folks. My name is Sadeja Blake, and I am one of your local Hartford poets. I am so blessed and honored to be here today um, by way of the Hartford Public Library and the Hartford History Center. Um, thank you all for having me. I really enjoyed this process. So I'm going to read three poems by Miss Lucy Cooper Summers um, from her collection of poems entitled 99 Patches. And then I'm going to transition into reading my own poem entitled City Gardens. Flown past. Train whistle let me keep today intact with excursions into yesteryear. Mother Eternal. Mother Eternal, would that I could retract you into the warmth of the womb that expelled you, their life would not hurt. But then what could you know of the breath of spring and sweet cold rain on your face? The big story. They seek my face when kind words are my features. City Gardens. The groundskeeper beats a graveyard as the greenskeeper beats a garden. Be it greenhouse or headstone, the two have life in common. From the very beginning, the soil and then the sowing of the seeds, rain to sunshine, and now you have roots. For springs, summers, and falls, we gardened. Open gates and march people and fistfuls of soil have never felt this refreshing. We held hands and let the children hunt for golden weeds. There are no bad seeds in this place. In this place, we do not let children bury their dreams. When the, bed here, when the beds here are expected to blossom, this is a letter from the new school to the woman who saw suffering and did something about it. All while raising children, I hope you got to tend to your garden too. The way we're left to suffer and mitigate our own suffering, I can't help but to wonder if your hands grew tired. But what does that mean when you continue to give? I know your heart had to be made whole time and time again. The selflessness cannot be taught. Days have been cloaked in darkness. Only perceiving the deaths of the people I love as morbid. Here at another transition. And it won't take any more to realize that I am not being left. There are gardens to be influenced. Gentle laughs ring in my ears. And they remind me that we are not done. The gates must open and life will be let in. Thank you. So I just want to talk a little bit about this experience. I had never heard of Lucy Cooper Summers before. Um, Jasmine reached out to me and was like, hey, are you interested in, in doing this? Um, I had never heard of Lucy Cooper Summers before, and it was just so wild to me that once I started reading about her, she was this community organizing person. She she helped start the one of the first Head Starts in Hartford. She helped raise $1 million to revamp the apartments on Capon Street. Um, she was doing all of these things and embodying all of these things that I am passionate about, like fair housing and helping my community in in a way that's not um, invasive um, and that's led by love. So that was very apparent in Lucy Cooper Summer's life. Um, and then reading her poetry was just amazing. It was like the first time I had ever read a poetry book and had consistently felt every single poem in it. Um, so I have immense gratitude for this experience. Um, 
it like it instilled in me that my vision isn't contorted or you know too big of an idea um and I knew that prior but to find a book in which someone is from where you're from and did the things that you desire to do um that was very big for me and one of the articles I read about her um I remember her being quoted and she was distinctively saying that she was coming here to um to plant to grow um and I'm not sure if she meant that quite literally but that's where I got the gardening idea from um hence my poem city gardens because I feel like with gardens gardens are healing tools and they can serve as very monumental things um and I feel the same way as I feel the same way about that when it comes to transitioning from life into death um funerals are awful they're very sad but there's always some sense of lightness after um maybe it's the people being on one accord and all feeling the same thing but this was a great experience and i won't talk you all too much i won't talk to you all too much so thank you kindly for having me and i really hope you enjoyed the poem um thank you peace